Hey music fans, as a roadie I had this great opportunity to tour with all these bands. I wrote a book about my experiences on the road and it was the number one new release on Amazon and Bios and it's now sold millions of copies on Kindle. I'm Joel Roadie and this is my podcast, Party Like a Rockstar. Totally a fun reaction here. Tommy Johansson covered a lady by the name of Anastasia. The track's called Paid My Dues. And I uh, put together here my reaction to listening to her for the first time. I'd never heard of her. To listening to him do his rendition of this track in metal. And you guys can hear what I have to say. But more importantly, let's hear what you have to say. Put it in the comments and let me know. Did you guys like this track? Was it fun for you? I found it very fun. I, I liked it. So anyhow, uh, let me know if you guys agree or strongly disagree. <laughs> Either way, lots of fun. Thanks, guys. I look forward to seeing you all in the next one. Enjoy. This is a track by Anastasia. You might wonder why I've selected it. It's because Tommy Johansson did a cover of it this week, and so we're going to check it out together. I don't believe I'm familiar with this track at all, and so I'm going to listen to the original. Now, the original music video was copyright blocked, so I, sound, I found a live version that was not. And so we're going to jump into that together. Lies better anyway, right? And let's see what uh, this is all about, this track. And then we'll jump in and see what Tommy did with it. Let's give it a go. Desia!
Thank you, City UK. She's a really good singer. I enjoyed that a lot. Uh, the only negative that I would say is a bit re uh, repetitive, the track, a little bit. So I get why they do it. You, you start to learn the phrase and you start saying it in your head and then you start singing it aloud. But a little bit repetitive for me. Love the backup singers, though. They were super talented. I like the swagger that they had going on. The lead singer, who I assume is Anastasia, Anastasia, is super, super, super good. I'd love to hear her sing some soul and some bluesy stuff because she's got this wonderful rasp in her voice. It's awesome. Drummer kick butt, dude. Love the beat going on in this track. And I liked it. Why Tommy selected it, I don't know. This is very peculiar. I don't know how he's going to make this metal. I'm, I'm more intrigued than, uh, than anything else. I wonder, I, I don't know where I would go with this if I was trying to do it. So this could be kind of neat. Anyway, as far as her, uh, very, very talented. I, I totally like this. It reminded me of the late 90s and uh, a lot of the music that was going on there, that, that same sort of, I don't know, the sound. I don't, know I don't know when this was released. Maybe it is late 90s. I don't think so, though. They were wearing clothes that looked a little newer to me. Anyhow, <laughs> let's see what Tommy does. Cool track. Thank you guys. I look forward to seeing you on the next one. So, this should be interesting, all right? I just listened to this track for the first time. I had not heard of Anastasia, and I actually really liked the track. I thought it was really cool. It was reminiscent. It reminded me of uh, the 90s, the, the later 90s, where a lot of this kind of track stuff was going on with the Fugees, that kind of vibe. Lady's an awesome singer. It was totally cool. Anyway, though, I, I'm intrigued. I don't know how Tommy would make that track metal. There's a lot of soul going on and stuff. So can we translate soul to metal? Yeah, man. Heck yeah. <laughs> anyway, I think it's an interesting selection. Let's give it a go. Let's see what he does. This should be cool.
was good. Subscribe to Tommy. So go like that, like he did there. Subscribe, Tommy. <laughs> um, this was a more interesting. So it definitely sounded metal, and I like the track. I said the track sounded very 90s to me. And it's interesting is he made it sound like a total 80s metal song. So we went farther back. I got to look it up and see when the track was actually released. I'll put the information here or on the, put it here. But I, uh, I don't know it right now. I'll look it up after this is done. My gut is it's in the uh, 2010s. But uh, it was just because of what they were wearing. But I'll, I'll see. I'll see. It's kind of a bit of fun for me. I, I think it's more fun to do these reactions when I don't research stuff. And I just go off the cusp. And if I'm wrong, hey, that's part of the fun. But uh, interesting track to select. I think it's one of the things I really enjoy about Tommy and his channel. I never know what to expect on his releases. And uh, I enjoy him. I always say that. But it's introducing him as stuff like this. This is a track I would have never known about forever. <laughs> I, would have never, I would have never listened to this. I don't think I would have ever heard of this lady. And the next thing you know, I'm like, oh, kind of like it. Kind of like it. And I'm all surprised because it's not really my kind of music. Although I love soul and this lady can sing. But uh, to Tommy, he's pretty good at metal, right? He's pretty good. <laughs> Anyhow, maybe he'll do a duet with Anastasia. That would be good, right? <laughs> Guys, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. That was a fun one. I look forward to seeing you all on the next one. <laughs>